Hello everyone and thank you to all who have tuned in today for this live webinar looking at FileMaker and Zero Integration. My name is David Borglis and I'm the FileMaker Business Development Manager for APAC and joining me today is Andrew Duncan, the CEO and owner of Databuzz, one of our accredited development partners and a member of the FileMaker Business Alliance program. Today's webinar is for those people who are considering the FileMaker platform for their custom business app requirements and for those who are interested in the value and benefits of integrating FileMaker with Xero. A brief piece of housekeeping as we get started, a broadband connection will deliver the best experience and you can listen to today's presentation through your computer speakers. If you're experiencing issues, you can call one of the Citrix support numbers that I have on the screen. We will be taking questions following today's presentation. And during today's presentation, you will have the opportunity to type in questions. If you think of a question during the webinar, please go to the control panel, click on the questions section, enter your question and click send. Again, we'll cover as many questions as time allows at the end of today's presentation. To start, I'd like to talk about FileMaker Inc. as a company. FileMaker Inc. is an Apple subsidiary and the sole focus is enabling business teams to create their own custom business apps. We have a great deal of experience in this area, in fact over 31 years of experience. To date, we've shipped over 24 million copies of our software to organisations all around the world. Custom apps built with FileMaker run cross-platform on Windows, Mac and through the browser and we've seen a great deal of success with iOS, with over 2 million downloads of FileMaker Go, our free app for iPad and iPhone. But to fully answer the question, who is FileMaker? I would say we're a company that believes in the simple and not the complex, because we enable non-IT people to create amazing custom business apps that transform the way their business operates. Over the years, we've spoken with our customers and we've found that too often their teams end up spending time and effort on unproductive, inefficient activities that make it more difficult to reach their goals. There are three common challenges that we hear constantly from our customers. One challenge is inefficient processes. The workflow is error prone and time consuming. Our team all approach the task in a different way and this means that it takes longer than it should to reach our goals. Another challenge we hear frequently is scattered information. In business today, inf information is literally everywhere. It's in multiple applications, in notebooks, in spreadsheets, in someone's iPad, and our team spends too much time and energy trying to find the information they need. Finally, people are still struggling with rigid technologies that aren't flexible enough to adapt to their specific business needs. Our customers know that technology could help but to overcome these problems, but organisations often have a difficult time finding technologies that fit their exact needs. So with the FileMaker platform, you can develop a custom business app that meets your exact business requirements, and you can deploy the solution so that the entire team can participate, giving, them, giving the team access via Mac, Windows, iPhone, iPad, and the web. You can cost effectively bring together all the needed information. You can quickly streamline business processes and you can easily update and deploy across different devices and platforms. Giving everyone access will deliver the efficiency and productivity that your business requires and will help you reach the, those business goals. And integrating your custom FileMaker app with Xero, well this can take it so much further. To further the discussion, on the value of Xero and integrating your custom FileMaker app, it's my pleasure to introduce Andrew Duncan, the CEO and owner of Databuzz. Andrew, welcome to today's webinar. Thanks, David. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Andrew, tell us about your company, Databuzz. Sure. I founded Databuzz in 1999 and I've been developing with FileMaker since 1992. Databuzz is a proud and long-standing FileMaker Business Alliance member. At DataBuzz, we build amazing custom business apps on the FileMaker platform for just about any industry you can imagine. We are certified FileMaker developers and also a zero approved developer. So DataBuzz has a particular focus on integrating custom FileMaker apps with other systems. Could you tell us about your products and services, Andrew? Sure. DataBuzz solves business problems. 
A custom FileMaker app might be managing information about your customers or managing the services or projects that you are delivering. What makes Databuzz special is that we specialise in linking your systems together. Databuzz provides products and services for integration with credit card payment gateways, SMS messaging services and accounting software. FM Accounting Link is our product for connecting to Xero. With FM Accounting Link, you can connect your existing Xero system to a custom FileMaker app and benefit from an end-to-end -end business solution. There's also a version of FM Accounting Link for MYB. Great, so tell us why businesses are selecting Xero. Well, Xero is beautiful, easy to use online accounting software for small businesses and their advisors. It's all online in the cloud, so you can work where and when you want to. Your bank statements are automatically imported and categorized, letting you see your cash flow in real time. You can invite your accountant and bookkeeper and work together on financials in real time as well. Xero has everything you need to run your financials, including invoicing, paying bills, sales tax returns, reporting, and much more. Xero makes it easy for small businesses to stay on top of their financial situation. So, Andrew, could you talk a little about the value of integrating Xero with FileMaker? Sure. In many small businesses, sales and service people in the field are generating sales orders. These orders may come back to the office in the form of emails, spreadsheets, paper, or PDF documents. We have the order, sales has closed the deal, now the office staff needs to generate a sales invoice in Xero. This can result in data entry errors, lost orders, multiple emails, and phone calls to resolve. The process can be inefficient, error prone, and can cost you time and money. This scattered information challenge results in inefficient processes. Okay, so by integrating Xero with your custom FileMaker app, you can streamline these processes and benefit from an end-to-end -end solution. That's right. And traditionally, the bookkeeper or finance team are the only ones with access to the accounting software. Not all staff will have access to your Xero account, as that contains confidential company information. This creates a number of problems for customer service staff who are engaging with the customers on a daily basis. They need to be able to manage customer information and confirm invoices have been paid and what the customer account balances are. Phoning or emailing the bookkeeper or finance team creates extra work and unnecessary delay. Imagine if all your staff had the ability to generate a sales invoice, record a customer payment, or get a customer's account balance, all without having to contact your bookkeeper and all from within your FileMaker app. With a FileMaker custom app, you can create a central location for all company data, giving sales, admin and other office users access from the desktop or iOS device. Let me give you an example. One of our customers is an Australian franchise company that provides on-site servicing of cars and their technicians use a custom FileMaker app on their iPad to log their jobs and record their time and materials used. At the end of each day, they sync their data back to the head office, which runs a nightly process to generate invoices and associated payments in Xero. They've been able to automate what was previously a time-consuming manual process that was riddled with data entry errors and inconsistencies. Okay, so no more re-entry of information. The data is, is accurate, admin time is reduced, and as a result, the team can focus on more important tasks like, like servicing their customers. That's it. The most common scenario we see for FileMaker and Xero integration is to automate the pushing of a sales invoice from the FileMaker app to Xero. FileMaker is used to generate and issue the invoice to the customer. FileMaker buttons and scripts are developed to push the customer details from FileMaker to Xero. If the customer record already exists in Xero, we update it. If there is no customer record, we create it. From Xero, you can download a list of inventory items, tax rates, and chart of accounts to assist with the sales invoice data entry in FileMaker. You can then push the completed sales invoice from FileMaker to Xero at the click of a button, while these can also be batched for bulk uploading at the end of the day. You can also upload and allocate payments received from customers. Okay, Andrew, so how does all this happen? How do we create that bridge or integration between FileMaker and Xero? Well, our product, FM Accounting Link, is a completely unlocked FileMaker solution that shows you how to integrate FileMaker and Xero using the Xero API. You can leverage your existing FileMaker solution that your staff are familiar with and add new buttons and layouts to handle the push and pull of data between FileMaker and Xero. If you don't have an in-house FileMaker developer or an external consultant, Databuzz can provide this consulting service to, to set this up for you. And if you don't have an existing FileMaker solution, you can use the FM Accounting Link as a starter solution, as it has the full Xero integration out of the box, and you can customize it to suit your business requirements. 
Okay, Andrew, so now it's time to get technical. Why don't you walk us through the details? Sure. So let's talk through the main features of FM Accounting Link. Firstly, FM Accounting Link is a FileMaker solution that works with FileMaker Pro version 12 through to the current version 15. You can use FM Accounting Link with either FileMaker Server or standalone with just FileMaker Pro. It works with both Windows and Macintosh and is 100% unlocked so you can learn how it works and then recreate just the features you need in your existing FileMaker solution. It includes examples for the common FileMaker Zero integration tasks, such as handling the authentication, pushing and pulling contacts, invoices, purchase orders, payments, and many more. FM Accounting Link is available in a number of licenses, including a company license, vertical solution license, and developer license. Finally, if you're planning to use FM Accounting Link with WebDirect or FileMaker Go users, you will need to be using FileMaker Server to host your solution, as we use a FileMaker plugin to handle the communication between FileMaker and Zero. How about I take the time to demo FM Accounting Link? Andrew, that would be fantastic, please, if you would. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch over to uh, FileMaker Pro <coughs> and bring up FM Accounting Link. So this is the, uh, the file that we sell, completely unlocked, which has all the examples for integration with FileMaker and Xero. Now, I mentioned earlier that you typically don't wanna give all your um, FileMaker users access to your Xero accounting system, so that contains confidential company information. But you need, do need to give them the ability to perform common tasks, such as pushing contacts, invoices, and um, bills from FileMaker to Xero, and pulling down customer payments and um, customer balances. So before we can um, exchange information, we need to um, set up what's called a private application in Xero. And this handles the authentication between FileMaker and Xero. So let's uh, walk through how that, how that process works. I'm gonna click on organization, and um, this is my screen where I can set up my Xero preferences, including all the details about my um, particular Xero organization. To set up what we call the private application, we need to create some keys in FileMaker, share them with Xero, which will give us some other keys, which we then share in FileMaker. So I'm gonna click the Create Private Keys button, which quickly creates two keys for me. I'm gonna click into the public key and copy and paste that to my clipboard. Now I'm gonna head over to the Xero website in my browser. And I need to be on the uh, developer.xero.com part of the uh, Xero website. I'm gonna click on My Apps, and this is gonna bring up a list of any apps that I've created. Um, I haven't created any at the moment, so I'm gonna set up a new one. So as I mentioned before, we're creating what they call a private application, which is just for use within my own organization. No one else can access this. So I need to give this a name, so I'll call this FM Accounting Link Demo. And here I'm gonna choose which of my zero organizations I wanna work with. So typically you'd only have one. Uh, we do recommend creating a, a demo company, as that means when you're testing the integration, you can upload and download information without affecting your live zero accounts. So I'm gonna select the demo company. I'm gonna paste in my public key from FileMaker, tick these two boxes and click save. Now Xero is gonna go and create the private application for me and it's gonna return some keys as well. And you'll see here it's created a consumer key and a consumer secret. So with a private application, I just need to copy one of those, which is the consumer key. So I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard, uh, go back to FM Accounting Link and paste it into the consumer key field. So I've now shared my keys with FileMaker and it's shared its keys with me, with Xero, sorry. Now I'm ready to test that this works. I'm just gonna click the authenticate button and that's going to attempt to authenticate with Xero and return some information about my Xero organization. So you can see that was successful. It's pulled down my Xero organization name and my uh, Xero organization shortcode, which we'll discuss a bit later as that helps us uh, create links directly from a contact or invoice record in FileMaker straight to Xero. Okay, now that we've successfully authenticated, the next step is to download some uh, configurational setup data from Xero. And this is normally just a one-time um, event because uh, we're going to be downloading things like chart of accounts, tax rates, tracking categories, and so on, and as well as our list of uh, products or inventory items. If these change in zero, you can al also always re-download them at any time. So I'm going to start by downloading my list of chart of accounts. And I'm going to click the Import Accounts button, and that's going to uh, request from zero a list of all my uh, chart of accounts. Now I've got about 60 or so in my uh, demo company, and yeah, as you can see, they've come down successfully. The click of a button in uh, a matter of seconds. Now let's get the tax rates. And that's a much smaller list, so that won't take very long at all. There's only about half a dozen of those. And I'm gonna get my uh, zero tracking categories next. Uh, if you don't use these tracking categories in zero, you can skip these steps. 
I'll get my brand in themes, which uh, control how my invoices look in Xero. And uh, finally, I'll get my list of currencies. And if you only have uh, trading one currency, there'll only be one record in that list, in this case, Australian dollars. The final piece of information I want to download from Xero is uh, probably one of the most important ones as well, which is my list of uh, products or uh, inventory items as they're called in Xero. I'm going to click uh, the Import Products button, and that's going to download uh, my full list of products. As you can see, they've been downloaded successfully. Now, the reason we download all this information is that it makes the data entry of a sales invoice uh, much easier, which means less typing for users and more accurate and more consistent data. So now that we've successfully um, authenticated and downloaded some configuration data from Xero, let's have a look at um, data entry and pushing some information from FileMaker back to Xero. To demonstrate this, I'm going to switch over to my iPad in this screen here and um, discuss the experience of a, a salesperson who's on the road, capturing orders, working with clients, isn't in the office very much, uh, but needs to generate a, a sales order and send that or submit it back to the office for approval and then for posting to zero and possibly uh, sending to the customer as well. So here you can see on my iPad, I've got a list of all my customers. So I've logged in as myself, I'm on the road. Uh, I'm gonna uh, be visiting FileMaker today. So they're gonna be my uh, customer for today. So I'm gonna click the FileMaker record and you can see uh, David is my main contact. He's an active customer. I've got his main contact details up here. And uh, if David had any previous invoices, we would see our, our list of uh, invoice history down the bottom. So this is David's first order. So I'm just going to click the uh, new invoice button and uh, generate a new invoice. And I missed, there we go. Okay, so now we're into our invoice. So I've got an invoice number, some invoice dates and due dates. I can record some notes about this invoice here. Otherwise, I'm going to start adding some invoice items by clicking the plus button. So I'm going to click the plus button and now I can click on the uh, product list. And uh, you might have seen this is the same list of products that I downloaded from Zero uh, a few moments ago. So all I need to do is uh, select some items from the list. So I'm going to choose some development work and we'll make that uh, 10. And then we'll do another item. And this time we'll do some uh, project management. And we'll do five of those. Okay, so that's everything uh, I need for my invoice. I'm happy with that. Uh, you can see there's a section up the top where I can either approve that or send it for review. Now I don't have, uh, as a salesperson, I don't have the privileges to uh, approve these invoices, so I need to click the send for review button. So let's click that. And you can see that was uh, successfully submitted back to FileMaker Server uh, for review by the accounts team. So I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm gonna switch back to uh, FM Accounting Link. So I'm gonna demonstrate uploading a contact from FM Accounting Link to Xero first. You can upload contacts at the same time as you upload an invoice, but there will be times when you may need to upload a contact separately, such as when you update their contact details. So let's go into the contact screen, and here's my list of contacts. So there's uh, my record for FileMaker down the bottom with David as my main contact, so I'm gonna go into that. Now as far as Xero is concerned, the only mandatory field is the company name field. Uh, I've also filled out David as my main uh, contact. Um, I can enter some additional people, uh, phone numbers and addresses as well. And if we have a look at the uh, financial details tab, uh, I can enter some optional uh, defaults as well for sales invoices, such as the account code and the tax rate. And you can see that these items are coming from the list of data that I downloaded earlier from Xero. If David was a supplier, I can also select the uh, purchaser equivalents of those as well. Uh, you'll notice down here, I've also got fields for the customer balances. So for any accounts receivable, outstanding, overdue, and the same for accounts payable. So I think I've got everything I need now to push this uh, record to zero. So I'm gonna come up here and click the push to zero current record button. And that's gonna go and push the information to zero and you'll see it's uh, been successful. And uh, one way I know it was successful is that we now have this field here called the zero contact ID, which has a value. Uh, typically you would, you would hide this from your FileMaker users so they don't need to see it. But it's confirmation that that record was successfully uploaded to zero. And if I was to make any changes to this record and push it again, it would simply update the record in, in zero not create a, a, a duplicate record. So let's have a look at how that record looks in Xero. I'm gonna go and click the open contact in Xero button and using that Xero shortcode that we got before, it's gonna take me straight to that, um, that contact record. So I don't have to log in and find it, it takes me straight there. And you'll see all the uh, details that I had in my uh, FM accounting link contact record have come across, including the name, the email, the phones and the address. 
And you notice I've also populated the what they call the zero contact code with this CT1050 number. If I go back to FM Accounting Link, you'll see that that's actually my FileMaker uh, primary key or unique identifier for this record. So that makes it easy when comparing records in FileMaker and Zero to know exactly which records which. And if you look at David's uh, financial details, uh, we have no history, so there's no previous uh, sales or purchases against his record. So let's go back to the FM Accounting Link file and uh, Let's have a look at some uh, invoices now. So you, we've shown you how easy it is to push a contact. Now let's talk about a, a sales invoice, which is the uh, most popular integration scenario for um, FileMaker and Zero integrations. So I'm going to go and jump into my invoices uh, screen. Now let's see if we can find an invoice that needs uh, approval. These have all been authorised. Uh, here we go. Here's one down the bottom. It's our draft invoice. So I'm going to go into that invoice, and uh, it's my job as an account. A team member or bookkeeper to uh, review this invoice and make sure all the data has been entered accurately. Now the advantage of having the salespeople just choose a product from a list means that everything is uh, entered by de default. So it's populated the uh, description, the unit price, uh, the correct account code and the tax type. Now I can um, override these on an individual line item basis if I need to, but having um, them defaulted based off the product code means uh, I won't have to make any changes uh, in this example. Now I'm pretty happy with this invoice, it all looks good. I've got an invoice date, a due date. It's uh, linked up to my contact correctly. So I'm gonna change this from draft and I'm gonna say that's authorized. Now we're ready to uh, submit this invoice to zero. So let's go ahead and click the push to zero, this invoice button. And it's worth mentioning that you can batch these um, so you can upload a group of invoices at the end of the day or daily or offload them to FileMaker server to them after hours. So uh, good news, that invoice was successfully uploaded to zero. And once again, it's with our contact, we've got a zero invoice ID. So that's our unique identifier. So let's go and have a look and see what this invoice looks like in zero. I'm gonna click the open invoice in zero button. And that's gonna take me straight to that invoice in zero, once again, without me having to go and find it. And uh, as you can see, it's got the same number of line items, with the correct account codes, tax rates, prices, and so on. Also with the same uh, correct uh, subtotals and tax totals. Uh, you'll notice that I've also populated the invoice ID with uh, the FileMaker invoice ID, and that just makes it much easier for me to map invoices from FileMaker to zero. You can uh, turn that off and have uh, zero generate the invoice numbers for you if you prefer. So the other common scenario is that you might be using FileMaker to record payments against the sales invoice. So down here, I've got a payment section. So let's go and record a payment for this invoice from David. So I've created a new payment. It's put in today's date. I can now choose which bank account that money was paid into. Uh, once again, these uh, are coming from our zero account codes that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to say it was deposited into the business bank account. If it was a check or an EFT and you have the uh, reference number or the check number, you can put in the unique transaction code there. And now we need to put in the amount. So David's a bit short of cash, so we can only afford a part payment. So he's given me $2,000. Now I'm ready to upload that invoice, that payment, sorry. So I'm going to click upload. That's going to push that payment to zero and it's going to allocate it uh, to this invoice at the same time. So let's go back to zero, and uh, let's just simply refresh the invoice in our browser. And uh, now we can see that the payment has been applied to that invoice. So the $2,000 payment has been applied. If we click into the payment details, we can see it's uploaded the amount, uh, it's got a reference number and the payment date, and it's allocated to the uh, correct bank account. So. Very little, uh, no more double data entry, all at the click of a button and all within seconds. So let's go back to our FM Accounting Link. And for our final demonstration, I want to talk about um, the role of customer service staff who might be talking with these uh, customers on a daily basis and need to have some accurate information about their uh, account balances at the time they're talking to them. So if I go back to uh, David's FileMaker record and go to the uh, Financial Details tab, we can see here that um, the account receivable outstanding and overdue fields are empty. And I know that uh, David does indeed have an invoice that is only part paid. Um, now, if I'm talking to David, uh, it's good. It's important for me to know whether he's got any money outstanding or overdue. So I'm gonna come up here and click the update balances from zero button. That's gonna request just a, uh, an update for this particular record. And that, as you can see, that was successful. And uh, now I know that David has uh, just over just under $3,000 still outstanding. It's, uh, it's not overdue, so David's still within his uh, credit term, so I don't need to uh, chase him for payment. But um, if he did have some money overdue, that would be important to know if I'm talking to him on the phone. 
So that concludes the, uh, the demonstrations. You've seen that we've been able to authenticate, pull down information from zero, upload contacts, invoices, payments, and record customer balances, all at the click of a button and all within uh, a matter of seconds. So let's go back to the presentation. So in summary, um, the benefits of our product FM Accounting Link are lets you securely integrate your custom FileMaker solution with Xero. It automates the exchange of data between FileMaker and Xero. Removing double data entry and improving the accuracy of the information flown from FileMaker to Xero, which in turn frees up your staff to work on more productive and interesting tasks rather than menial double data entry. Tell you what, Andrew, I can see a huge number of benefits here. You know, reducing double entry of data, <coughs> reducing administra administration time, you know, accurate data, and again, allowing your people to spend more time serving your customers. Fantastic. So, really appreciate your time, Andrew. And let's take a look at, you know, the questions, of course, but before we do that, let's, uh, let's speak about the next steps. So, from FileMaker's perspective, look, if you haven't done so already, Download a free 15-day trial of FileMaker Pro 15. Take a look at the FileMaker training resources. The link is on the screen. And there's more recorded webinars that you'll find available on the website that may be of interest. And if you do need any further assistance with resources or licensing programs, look, drop me an email or drop me a call. And with regards to DataBuzz, well, go to the DataBuzz website and review the information that's available on FM Accounting Link. Watch the, the video series demonstrating how easy FM Accounting Link is to use and integrate. And of course, if you need further assistance or wish to purchase FM Accounting Link, we'll contact Andrew Duncan. His contact details are on the screen. Okay, so we've got a few more minutes left now to review and to respond to some of the questions that may have been posted through the GoToMeeting uh, control panel. But uh, look, we may not have time to cover all the questions, or you may have a question that you would like responded to privately. So right now you're seeing on the screen uh, the contact details for both Andrew and myself. So we do have a question. I'm, a, I'm new to FileMaker and I have zero, and I currently invoice out of zero. Can you explain why I would make more uh, make my invoicing over to, 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 to FileMaker? Andrew, what's your thoughts about that? Well, uh, zero typically isn't used to run your business. It's, a, it's an accounting solution at the end of the day. Uh, FileMaker lets you create a, a custom business app uh, with lots of other functionality that um, Xero doesn't provide. So you can integrate it into what's commonly called a, a customer relationship management or CRM solution, uh, which lets you do a lot more than just invoice your customers. So you can have SMS them, follow up emails, record notes, record conversations, uh, give access to all your, all your staff. Um, and in turn through FileMaker Go access to people on the road uh, out of the office using FileMaker Go on an iPhone or an iPad. So uh, basically you get a lot more functionality um, still with the benefit of integrating with Xero and pushing um, the records that you create, the invoices that you create in FileMaker uh, up to zero at the end of the day so they're in your accounting system. Uh, look, Andrew, I think that's really spot on. And, and if you look at the way we do business today, it's all about having access to information today. And again, it's about everyone in the team being able to participate. And in particular, if you've got a business that has guys out in the field, extending the reach of this out to an iPad or an iPhone through FileMaker Go is going to give you that efficiency and productivity. Let's see if we've got another question. Or Do you have more to say? Well, and one thing that comes up a lot is that... Um, Zero is very limited in the, in the information that you can include on an invoice. Some of our customers are running quite sophisticated um, sales and invoicing solutions, and they need to include a lot more information on an invoice that's issued to a customer than, than what Zero will ever let you uh, allow. Let's see if we've got another question. What if you're using FileMaker for a membership database and they request slightly different info for invoicing than you want listed as their contact details? Will they automatically over, be over overridden, or I guess would it create a new record? Um, we well can certainly uh, the information that you record in FileMaker and the information you send to Zero don't necessarily have to be the same. You can certainly have uh, an option to um, uh, we are, you, you have complete control at the end of the day over what the information that you send to um, Zero is. It doesn't have to be identical to the information in your FileMaker database. Um, so if there's information you don't want to share from FileMaker, you certainly don't have to share that in Xero. 
Um, that might be a question I can follow up offline. There might be a bit more uh, to that particular question. So please feel free to uh, contact me. And we can uh, follow that up in more depth. Now we've got another question that says here, um, I've got uh, quite a number of people in my team and um, I'm wondering about what are the right licensing options for, for FileMaker. Um, look, absolutely. Uh, there's a number of licensing options. Um, we, we have FileMaker licensing for Teams. We have um, our legacy licensing options, annual and perpetual. Uh, it really depends on how you're going to deploy FileMaker as to which is the most appropriate path. So again, on screen, you're seeing my email address, david underscore borgness at filemaker.com. If you'd like to send me through some more details on how you're going to be deploying FileMaker, we can answer that question. Okay, we've got another question here that says, if you're pushing invoices across in, say, a retail situation where there's uh, a lot of transactions, is there a transaction limit? Uh, there's no transaction limit as such. The, there is a limit about the number of requests you can make to the Zero API uh, each day in a 24-hour period. Uh, I think last time I checked, it was around about 5,000 um, requests a day. Uh, and an individual request isn't necessarily one invoice. It could be a, a batch of invoices. So you can um, bulk upload multiple invoices in one request. Um, some uh, customers are not uploading every transaction. They're simply uploading a consolidated daily takings at the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month. So it's really up to you. But, um, yeah, if you're doing more than uh, 5,000 invoices a day, zero probably isn't the uh, appropriate solution uh, for you in, in, in any case. But... I haven't had any customers hit that uh, transaction limit yet. Okay, we've got another question that's come through. If I was to contact uh, DataBuzz to set up the FM uh, accounting link, can you describe how that engagement would work? Andrew, please. Sure. Um, so, yeah, we would certainly um, uh, meet up with you either in person or, or virtually and get you to uh, share your existing FileMaker solution and then essentially discuss uh, what problems you're trying to solve for you. You're trying to push invoices or, or purchase orders or bills or credit notes or wherever it might be. Uh, then we'll do a bit of a mapping exercise to map out um, what you've currently got and how that compares with the, uh, the data that Xero requires. And then we can uh, essentially leverage the FM Accounting Link solution and um, perform a bit of a field mapping exercise and um, create buttons or scripts uh, on, on your layout. So you'll have a, um, the, the similar functionality to what we've demonstrated today in the uh, FM Accounting Link solution. All right, so we've come to the end of the questions that people have posted. Once again, Andrew, I'd love to thank you for joining us here at FileMaker today for this, uh, this, this webinar, looking at the integration between uh, FileMaker and Xero and, and the value of doing so. It's been fantastic to see the product that you've brought to market. Um, so with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say thank you to everyone who's tuned in today. It's been a, a pleasure presenting to you. Once again, if you have any further questions that you would like us to answer on a private uh, in a private way, you can see our email addresses on the screen. We will be in touch to see how we can help you further. But on that note, I'd like to thank everyone once again for joining us today. And we're going to close down today's webinar. Take care. Thank you.